Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel Symptom 05. So in this video we will look for the mess near the holes. That is very important topic and if you are aware, already aware to the massing then you can clearly say this, this third massing is pretty good and remaining two are not acceptable. But think on the same before answering. Why the first and second massing is not good at all? Okay, in first object you may think the sole is not captured by the elements properly and instead of a circular hole, now it is a hexagon type of hole. That's very true. But in second case, hole is not that much precisely captured as compared to third one, but it is quite good massing. But still, people think this is not acceptable. I am saying this mass is also acceptable. But there is case of stress concentration region. If you are trying to pull this particular component from one end and this end is fixed, then this third case is far better. I mean to say the third massing is far better than the second one. But if I am trying to apply a bending load on this plate, See, this is uh, the hole not captured by the element. So, we are completely ignoring this massing. But if I am trying to apply the bending load on this component, then there is no meaning of such precise massing near about the hole. I already know when I apply the bending load, the reason that is already holded by the assembly or it is clamped by something else. So, let me show you the results. So we have this beautiful results and this is the first case coarse mess. Second case there we have appropriate number of element near about the hole. But in third case we have very fine massing near to the hole. So obviously in the first case where we have fixed end, one fixed end and on another end we are applied load. So the third case is preferable case and you can see how beautifully the stress is generated in the third case in the precise mass case near to the hole because as we know the stress is concentrated near to the hole so we need more dense element near to the hole okay that is pretty understandable so finally conclusion is that for stress concentration region uh, mass near about the hole should be dense and this third mass is superior than compared to the first and second. But what about this banding case? Let me show you here. So instead of instead of stretching load, we have here the banding load. Let me show the mess. Let me show the mess. Even the first mess that is quite coarse, even the hole is not precisely matched, that also provide pretty good result near to the stress concentration region, near to the clamping reason. So when load is not in such a way that near about hole stress is not concentrated. So no need to do much exercise near to the hole. Okay. Instead of this massing, the second mass is much better and it will give you the less headache to mass it. So if you ever see the hole that's not mean near to the hole, you have to make a precise massing. It's depend on the loading. Whether it is a stress concentration zone or not, whether this hole is area of interest of a study or not. So based on that, you have to decide. So how to do such massing if it is required? Okay, if it is required, how to do such massing in hypermass? So let me switch on the hypermass. Okay, here we have these three plates, same geometry. Let me delete the existing element. And I have three component here, plate 1, plate 2 and plate 3. Go to the F12 or automass panel from 2D page automass panel. If you are already aware to the massing in the hypermass, then you may aware to the this splitting method. Let assume we don't have any split and just unsplit everything. Unsplit those lines, unsplit those lines, unsplit those lines. Likewise, okay. So we have three plates here. So how to match them? Go to the F12. Then here in the auto mesh panel, you have to select input as a surface. I'm using only size and bias options. The mesh size is almost 10 for this component. Mix matching I'm using element to surface component. So 
my element automatically move on the respective component and click on mesh so now we are in the secondary page of the massing if you want any modification you can do it otherwise i am accepting it as it is this is the first case okay this is the first case but obviously this massing is not recommended so how to mess just select the surface again go with the mess same size and now just try to increase number of element on the hole let's say 8 9 10 11 12 okay this massing is pretty good comparatively if you are accepting this as it is then fine if it is not accepting you can improve it again so after density you can use the mass style you can uncheck this size and skew options so basically those are the quality of element if you check these two then software try to maintain size and skew means it will try to maintain the size of element and minimize the skew of the element click on mass and now you can go with the smoothing so you can see a little difference so that's fine for me i'm accepting it as it is and in third case where you want the fine mesh near to the hole if assume that is not a banding case it's a axial compression or tension case then we need precise meshing near to hole so how to do go to the geometry surface edit sorry surface edit and here trim with the line here we have offset line options in offset line options we have basically two sub options all attached surface and selected surface i always recommend to use this second options select the surface which you want to split and as option says you want to split with respect to the offset line so this is the line this is my line and with respect to a offset of distance 4 i want to trim it Similarly, select the surface, select the line. This is my line now, and with the distance of offset, let's say now it is 5 and click on trim. So, in this way, software will trim the existing surface. If you want to trim along the x direction and y direction, you have multiple options, node width. I mean to say, with node options, you can utilize, you can create a line and you can split with the line, but I prefer to use the plane options i have to select here the surfaces which i want to split then i have to decide the plane so i want to split these all surfaces from here okay so where will be the plane so plane lie likewise okay plane lie likewise and it is the normal direction of the plane so this is my plane and normal direction of plane will be y direction so let's say this is y direction base node if you don't have base node make sure you create the base node using the node creation options click on trim similarly select the all surfaces and now i want to trim along this plane so this plane having normal direction of this this is my x direction x direction select the center node and click on trim so now my surface is splitted now the control near to the hole very easy select the surface okay instead of uh, element size 10 just reject immediate element size 10 i want to define here element size of 4 that is more than sufficient okay so near to the hole i always recommend at least seven eight elements and as we know this is the stage concentration zone so more number of element required here in this particular stage concentration region so i increase the number of element 4 along the radial direction so no need to mask them individually instead you can select all the surfaces at a time but make sure you define these input parameter precisely here 4 here 4 and then see here we have 8 element you can utilize all these options by adjust options by value options and so on so eight element i want to define here okay here also eight element at the inner edge now it is pretty good and here here we have five and here we have four so just reduce one density if you are not much fluent with the 
hyper mesh then instead of meshing all surface at a time mesh them individually okay so again at outer edges 8 8 8 8 and 8 and here three element are more than sufficient okay fine so this mass looks pretty good you can see all element are the quad element now the tricky part how to match the remaining surfaces it is very easy just only you need to concentrate on number of elements on the edges so this surface this surface look like a pentagon surface the first thing even this massing is pretty good for this surface as i know the stage concentration region is matched very precisely so remaining surface you can mass in any way likewise this mass also looks pretty good some people may think if we have here tri element if you want to remove those tri element that's good but uh, if you don't want to remove they are okay no need to worry about those tri element I don't know why industrial people always try to remove tri element 100% even those tri element not in the stress concentration region see this is the only stress concentration region here tri element should not be there because it's affect the simulation result away from the stress concentration region uh, tri element are fine no worry but if you want to remove let's say you want to remove just click on auto mesh panel select the surface define the element size let's say it is 4 click on mesh the first thing whatever number of element we have on this circular edge on the opposite edges we must have only half elements let's say here we have 8 element so here we need to define only 4 and 4 element this may look like uh, very bad right now no need to worry about that second important point on this age and on this age the number of elements should be same here 8 here 8 okay now go to the mass style element type make sure all quad mass method this is generally auto decide make it map as a pentagon where it is pentagon why pentagon because this geometry behave like a pentagon here we have five edges one two three four and five edges so i force the software to treat this surface as a pentagon so click on set all make sure you uncheck these two options set and again mesh so you will get this precise meshing if you want to make a smoothing so these elements become smooth so this is pretty good matching for me repeat the same process for the all surfaces okay eight element and make sure here we have only four let's say four element here 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 okay first thing make sure these two edges having same element these two edges having same element these two edges having same element go to the mesh style set all map as a rectangle uh, sorry pentagon uncheck these two options size and sq because software try to maintain this property if you uncheck these options then software not try to maintain these two properties click on mass okay where it is problematic let me go with density oh here here it is uh, here four element only eight four four yes go to the set all set all map as a map pentagon and now click on mass go with the smoothening if you want something okay uh, this on surface only uh, get smoothening just click here just click here and click on smooth i'm sorry click on this this particular icon and click on smooth click on this icon click on smooth and now go to the return so you will get this precise matching so again it depend whether your hole comes in stage concentration zone or not if it is not in the stage concentration zone this matching is pretty good 
If it is in a stress concentration zone, then you need the precise massing near to the hole. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening.